I'll show you how to send ETH from your Foundry test. Here I have a simple contract called Wallet, and all it does is it can receive Ether, but only the owner will be able to withdraw Ether from this contract. The code that we're going to be testing today is this part. I'll show you how to send ETH into this Wallet contract. So I've already created a test file, and it imports the Wallet contract. And the two functions that I'm going to show you how to use is called Deal and Hoax. These are function available in your Foundry test. The function deal takes in two inputs, an address and a uint. And what it does is it will set the balance of the address to the second input, uint. Hoax is like deal plus prank. What it does is it takes in two inputs, takes in an address and a uint, and it sets up a prank for the address and also sets the balance for this address to the second input. I'll show you how to use these two functions. So here I've already prepared some code. It deploys the wallet contract for each test. And I've also declared a helper function to send ETH to the wallet. Before I show you how to use deal and hoax, I want to know how much ETH this wallet test contract receives for the tests. So what I'm going to do is create a function called function test ETH balance public. And what we're going to do is log the balance of ETH stored in this contract. I'll say console.log and then type ETH balance. And then I'll log the balance of ETH. Address this dot balance. 1 ETH is equal to 10 to the 18. So I'll divide this by 10 to the 18. 1 E18. And then we'll run the test to see how much ETH this contract wallet test has. So I'll open the terminal and then type forge test dash dash match path test. The name of the test is wallet.t.soul. And to get the log printed onto the terminal, I'll type dash bbb. And here is the log. ETH balance is a really large number. So we won't have to worry about how much ETH is stored in this wallet test contract. Okay. So next, let me show you how to use deal and hoax. So I'll call this function, function test send ETH. We're going to be sending ETH from this contract to the wallet contract, public. And first, I'll show you how to use deal. So go back up. We'll copy these two comments and then paste it here. The function deal will set the balance of an address. So for example, if I say deal address one, let's set the balance of address one to 100. And let's double check by typing assert equal address one dot balance should now be equal to 100. Since we call the function deal and told Foundry to set the balance of address one to 100. Okay save the file and let's run the test and the test passes so by calling deal you can set the eth balance of any address and just to show you another example i'll copy this and then paste it here and next time let's set it to 10. so after you call the function deal the eth balance of address one should now be equal to 10. And now notice that when we call deal for the first time, it set the balance of address 1 to 100. And the second time we say deal for address 1 and set it to 10, it's not 100 plus 10, but it is just simply 10. So let's run the test, open the terminal, execute the test, and the test is successful. Okay, so that was an example of how to use deal. By calling this function, you'll be able to set the ETH balance of any address that you specify inside here. Next, I'm going to show you how to use hoax. So hoax is similar to deal, what we saw in the previous example, except it also chains it with the function prank. What does this mean? This means that it will set the balance of an account to whatever we specify inside here. And then next, it will call prank. So that means that the call after that message.sender will be the address that we specify over here. Okay, so to show you this, first I'll show you an example of writing the code with deal plus prank and then next i'll show you how to do this exact same thing using hoax so i'll copy this deal so first we'll deal address one let's set the balance of address one to one to three and then next we'll send this 123 eth over to the wallet and when we send eth over to the wallet it's going to emit the deposit event for message.sender and message.value 
What we expect is that message.sender should be address 1 and message.value will be 1, 2, 3. Okay? So deal. We're sending the if balance of address 1 to 1, 2, 3. Next, we're going to be sending this if over to the wallet. So if I scroll up, I created a helper function to send the if over to the wallet. So I'll type underscore send and then type the amount that we're going to be sending is 1, 2, 3. Now, if we just execute this, send will be called from this contract, this wallet test contract. So message.sender will be the address of the wallet test contract. And we're not sending it from address 1. To send from address 1, what we need to do is bm.prank address 1. So deal, we set the balance of beef for address 1 to 1 to 3. Calling prank, we say message.sender when we call send should be address 1. Okay, let's run the test. And then later we'll check the log that was emitted from the wallet. We'll look for the deposit event and check message.sender and message.value. Open the terminal and then execute the test again. And this time we'll print more outputs so that we can see all of the events that were emitted. So I'll add an extra V. So this will be four Vs and then execute the test. And the test was successful. Now if we check the log over here, it has a deposit event. The account message.sender was address one for the amount one, two, three. Going back to our test, we sent one, two, three from address one. So this was an example of sending if using deal plus prank. However, we can achieve the same thing using hoax. So let me show you an example. So I'll say hoax from address one and how much are we going to be sending? We're going to be sending one, two, three. So we'll set the balance of address one, two, one, two, three. And then next, we'll call the function send one, two, three. So these two code, this one and this one, do the exact same thing. Actually, instead of sending 1, 2, 3, I'll send 4, 5, 6, so that when we execute the test, we'll get some different logs. Okay, let's run the test again. Execute the test. And we should have two deposit logs. One over here from address 1 for amount 1, 2, 3. And from address 1 again for amount 4, 5, 6. So this was an example of how to use hoax. Now to finish off, let's check the balance of the wallet. So what I'm going to do is first store the wallet balance before we execute any of the test. So say uint val equals to address wallet dot balance. And then we'll, after we execute all of the code, we'll check the wallet balance. So say assert equal balance of wallet address wallet dot balance. What should this be equal to? Well, it should be equal to the previous balance, val, plus whatever amount we sent. How much if did we send in this test? We sent 1, 2, 3 over here and 4, 5, 6 over here. So this will be 1, 2, 3 plus 4, 5, 6. Okay, let's execute the test. Open the terminal, execute the test, and all of our tests pass. So in this video, I showed you how to use Deal and Hoax to test sending ETH and Foundry. Deal will set the balance of an address and Hoax will set the balance of an address and for the next call, it will do a prank.